Paul, it's a 1 0 defeat by Kidderminster Harrys this afternoon, but um, a performance full of endeavour. There was a lot of effort there, wasn't there? You've run them quite close. Yeah, I've just said to the lads and I said in the, uh, to the radio, um, obviously gutted about the results, gutted. Um, but we can't be despondent because although the performance wasn't free flowing in any ways, we've, we've limited them, certainly first half. Um, to you know, set pieces and it was difficult conditions but we've handled it um, an unfortunate error for the goal just on half time which kind of changes your thoughts or your, you know, your mindset a little bit but I felt second half we've had to go at them we've had to attack we've had to close them down high up the pitch and a couple of you know a little bit better decision making and maybe we can maybe we can make the chances that we've forced, if you like, because they weren't overly created. We've, we've pressurised them into into win we've won the ball higher up the pitch and a couple of better decision making uh, moments. And we we can do more with the with the results of winning the ball where we did. But um, like I said, I can't, we can't be despondent by it. Um, it was a battling performance, and I've just said to the lads, if that's the benchmark of what's going to get out of this division, then it's fine margins, and we need to keep doing what we're doing. Yeah, sure. You said on Tuesday now against Southport that um, that kind of intensity was missing, but that that wasn't the case today. That was there in well in abundance, really. I thought. Yeah, I felt it was. Like I say, just little little moments that where you think um, you've let them off, let them off the hook. A few set pieces in the first half, a couple late on, where we sh where we've got to do better. And we've got to realise the situation, which we didn't. Um, you know, we're taking short free kicks and we've sent everyone up. We're, we're clipping balls into the box from corners when it's a swirl and wind, and you just think and just put it right in the mixer, um, which is what they done. So you know, th those little things that we we have to tidy up with and we have to realise, um, you know, can be the difference. They can be the difference, as as shown with with, with their goal. Um, but like I say, they're a good side. They're well drilled, they're full time. They're fit. They're strong. They've got good players and. But, but we've pushed them all away today, and you know I think um, they've played the game. They've they've killed the game when necessary. The keepers took took an age. I was disappointed with three minutes going on. Referee was having himself a little bit. Um, some of his comments after the game, which uh, you know he doesn't need to make, but that's the way it is. He was just uh, I just felt he was a little bit leaning towards uh, some of their decisions. I don't like to make excuses about referees but I just felt the little niggly ones they got a lot more off than we did um, you know and that that's sometimes happens when you know he's all uh, shaking hands with their management after the game but as I say I don't want to be bitter about it they've you know can, you know fair play to them they've, they've got the results on the road a clean sheet for them so um, but I won't be disappointed I'm gutted with the result but I'm not disappointed with the performance when we've gone you know a toe-to-toe -to -toe and we've pushed them to the end to the point where they've put uh, another centre half on the pitch, and you know the the, the defending the, the game out, and so you know we've got to we've got to take the positives from it. You, you said about some changes on Tuesday that maybe you regretted a bit that you you didn't make any changes. You made three today. You pleased with the way the the players that came in performed? Yeah, I, I mean to be honest, I was toying with it on Tuesday, and I just thought no, we'll go with it, um, and that was a little bit of a regret, but hindsight's wonderful. Um, the lads who came in today, I felt I felt performed. I felt, you know, I didn't think we I didn't think we had a poor performance today. If I'm being honest with you, yeah, we've got lads who can, you know, have played better for us. But I don't think we had anybody who, who, who was poor. I don't think we had anybody who was who was not at it, who was not showing endeavour and work rate and will to win. Um, you know, we had all that. Could we have tidied it up? Yeah, but you know, so could they. You know, they've ground the results out here and, and they're over the moon with. Um, so that you know is is a sort of backhanded compliment if you like the, the noise that they're making in the dressing room and the, on the back that they've come here and they've beat us 1-0 by grinding the results out and that's you know we've got to whilst not be happy about it but we can't be like I say despondent by it because uh, we've got to go again Tuesday Sure um, just a quick word about a couple of additions to the squad obviously um, with uh, the main Sharif coming in last night and Byron Moore as well um, what's your hope that they'll bring to the, the squad? There's more quality, as I've just said outside. I said, you know, people might say, "Oh, you brought a midfielder, and we've got midfielders," but we've got to, we've got to weigh up that we've got um, Liam can't play against his parent club. 
um, keeping Ward's loans up shortly, and we've you know we don't know what what's going to be the outcome of that just yet. Um, so so whilst we have got midfielders, there's two out of next weekend's game, so or p- potentially two. Um, so Lamine coming in, a really good player, really good pedigree. Um, at Leicester, went to Atkinson, was unfortunate with an injury. Spoke to John Coleman, who, who was really complimentary of him, and uh, he's just going to give us that sort of busyness in midfield. Um, wants to get on the ball, wants to make things happen, wants to switch. He's played played a few games at Kettering early on in the season, which obviously he's accustomed to the division. Um, and Biden is just a just just a real quality acquisition. He'll, he'll give us pace. He'll give us a goal threat. He'll give us versatility in attacking positions. He can play either wing back. Um, played a lot of football in in, in higher divisions, and um, and he's local. And, and but like the main thing is both of them are our own players now, and they're not loans. Which you know we need that. I, I said it when I first came in. Loans are, are great. You know as a stopgap, but. You know, unless we can get them to the end of the season, it's always hard. It's always hard for the club. It's always hard for the players. So, um, but we just keep adding to it. Wherever there's quality, and wherever we get improvements, however many players we've got in those positions, if they improve the eleven, then that's that's what we'll be doing. Okay, Paul. Thanks for your time. On to York City on Tuesday, and we'll uh, catch up with you there. See you there. Thank you. Cheers. Thanks.